Happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest update, not only what's going on with Milton, what is coming behind it. I'm showing that we still have Nadine. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. My subscribers have been knowing about not only Milton, but something east of it, supposed to be east of it, for six weeks coming our way. Now, Milton was supposed to be a tropical storm. It's blown up into a crazy amount of strength. Matter of fact, showing that it will be towards a major hurricane going over the loop current. Some of the model guidance is showing it could be a Cat 5 around this time. Also showing that after that, it would go towards 121 miles per hour sustained winds going towards the Cat 4. Now, the latest information shows that they don't have anything before landfall, whether it's going to be maintaining, strengthening, or actually weakening, which is what it should be doing a little bit. It does show that we will have 92 miles per hour sustained winds after landfall. So, showing no matter what, you got anywhere from high end Cat 1 to high end Cat 2 winds that's going to be coming over Florida after your 3 or 4 Cat landfall. Now, I promise you I'll give you an update before this got too close, just like I did for Helene. Let them know about this storm system coming because you're going to lose power, just so you know what is around the corner. Make sure you are paying attention to this forecast. Because after this one, you're going to lose power again. And we still have that other one coming after the 15th. So if you've never been here before, do make sure you subscribe. I like to do long-range forecasts as well so we don't have any surprises. And we've been knowing about this coming for a minute now. And now we're here. And you can see on the automatic tropical cyclone forecast, it is still forecasted to go right towards Tampa. But you can also see we still got that other group showing what the GFS has been showing, that it will have that northward pull. I'm sure it will be breathing still very good from the jet stream, helping this storm stay strong while it's hitting that shear when it starts heading north. So it's going to combat it, but the shear is going to win out eventually. You just don't know how much strength is going to lose before landfall. And you can see this on the GFS. More than likely on the average, go towards Tampa like National Hurricane Center is saying. Still showing on the previous run and your control member, your more than likely outcomes, does show that low skim to the west. Latest strength, very concerning. We even have one going all the way up towards a Cat 5 now. We got a good group of them that show anywheres from a Cat 3 all the way to a Cat 4, no matter what a major Hurricane. We even have a group that's showing a high end cat one towards a high end cat two. So it all depends how much this shear hits. It all depends if it goes northern after its southern dip or does it stay a little more southern in that cone to where the shear really don't affect it. And that's what I'm showing in the hurricane models. Now remember, after we deal with Milton, we will have right around the 14th and the 15th, another one that's still forming up in the Western Caribbean that's coming into our Gulf of Mexico. Now we'll keep you updated on this. I just want you to know the latest information before we go further in the forecast and before too many days start stacking up, just so you know what could be around a corner as you lose power, unfortunately. So after we deal with Milton, you can see right around the 14th and 15th, just like I've been talking about here, that we have another one forming up. Now this could easily go to the west. It could form up sooner and affect even more locations, Jamaica, Cuba, Bahamas, and turn even sooner. But on this run and the previous run, it's shown that it will turn around and go right towards Florida as another potential major hurricane right around the 16th and 17th. And this one shows it will go right up the coast, potentially bringing more heavy rainfall towards the Carolinas and be staying a hurricane as it goes through the Northeast, showing that Nadine could be a monster as well. So as we look with Milton, you can see with the hurricane analysis forecast system A from your jet stream that as it goes by Tuesday afternoon, that it really starts breathing just like Helene. Way up in the higher altitude, starts breathing really good with the outflow because of the jet stream, helping this storm stay strong while it's going through that shear. Now, the shear will eventually win over and start weakening down, but this will keep it strong as long as possible all the way towards landfall. Now, you can see right here with your shear that it goes all the way until Tuesday afternoon before it finally starts getting some shear on that system, maybe all the way until Wednesday morning. Also, another update. Instead of this coming through for Wednesday morning, where it's going through the day, where you can see 
what's coming at you. You can see actual destruction, what you need to do in time of a quick moment. This is coming in late at night now. This is coming in late at night. You're not going to be able to see. It's going to be overnight on the landfall, and you're going to be dealing with this overnight. You're not going to be able to see anything. Showing the shear will eventually weaken it down and hit it pretty hard right before landfall. Latest intensity guidance takes it to where you go by Wednesday morning. It still goes right over the loop current, gets a lot of energy. Now, the hurricane analysis forecast system A takes it to 166 sustained winds. We're talking about a Cat 5. And actually, if you look for it, you can see it actually gets all the way up to 175 miles per hour sustained winds. Seeing the same thing on B as well. Now, as it goes towards landfall, the shear hits it, it's able to breathe good, but the shear is very strong and it starts winning out just a little bit and it knocks it down from a Cat 4 down to a major hurricane still as it goes on landfall. But still, look how much further to the north and west that is from where it's showing on the previous run. Remember that northern pull from that jet stream Showing on this one, it has more time to stay strong and intensify. And as you're going through later in the evening, this is going to be a landfall. A little bit further towards north, going towards Cedar Key. And now you're talking about early in the morning landfall. Showing the wind gusts, over 190 miles per hour wind gusts over the loop current. Even get to 194. But then as it starts weakening down from that shear, look at this. As you go by Wednesday afternoon, you're still feeling it all the way into southern Georgia. It's still big and broad, and you're getting banding coming in, getting 50 miles per hour wind gusts still over here in the Atlantic. But now it's still going down to 140-something miles per hour wind gusts, 150, very strong storm. Now, right before landfall, it weakens down. Remember, when it weakens down, it broadens out. Now you got this huge area of this wind field. You're going to have storm surge getting pulled into this direction as well. There's going to be a lot of flooding and a lot of damage, unfortunately, that's going to come with this system. Staying strong all the way through it, bringing 50, 60, 70 miles per hour wind gusts towards Georgia and into South Carolina. Now, B, Hurricane Analysis Forecast System B takes it over the loop current, takes it up to 192 miles per hour sustained winds. Just outrageous strength, showing it stays that strong for quite some time. Then it starts weakening down from that shear, still breathing good, still bringing it as a strong Cat 4, trying to be a Cat 5. It does weaken down to a Cat 4, then it goes down to a major hurricane right before landfall. Still showing that western and northern pull. Wind gusts, over 210 miles per hour wind gusts over the loop current. We're talking about something right here in the Gulf. And as it goes towards landfall, 170 miles per hour wind gusts already getting impacts by Wednesday evening. Coming in overnight, nighttime landfall with this hurricane. Now trying to find a trend, you can see here with the H-Wharf, it does bring it a little bit further towards the southern side than what we've been seeing from the hurricane analysis models. But still on this one, it brings in still as a major hurricane as it goes towards landfall. And this right here, would be devastating over for the Tampa region. This would be an enormous amount of flooding. The waves come in with the flooding, plus the winds. This would be very much devastating. Latest rainfall totals for the next five days is with National Hurricane Center. So all this yellow is all four to six inches. All these dark spots of orange all along the coast. That's all six to eight inches. Also showing around the southern tip of Florida and over here by northeastern Florida towards Jacksonville. That's all 8 to 12 inches and over here in the Gulf this is actually a foot towards two feet of rainfall they do have the flash flooding now it is slight risk all the way up to southern Georgia but you do have the moderate level for southern Florida towards Miami and you also have it from Tampa and north and remember after Milton will be Nadine that will be what we'll be talking about next so make sure you stay alert to the updates. And the cones so far, you can see where it could change. So right now, they still have it going right over Tampa. But you can see by these ensembles that they're showing that there is still that group that could turn further towards the north that could get more shear on it as well or give it more time to intensify either or could happen. But a good group of them is still showing that it is going towards Tampa, towards Sarasota. 
for landfall so just be aware of that and look it is going towards orlando daytona beach as far as the strength on landfall towards eastern florida still not known yet they have it as 92 miles per hour sustained winds it could be a little bit stronger this is going to be a a fast moving system so when it gets on landfall whatever that strength is this will change on the east coast as well i will see you all this afternoon for the latest update please share this information to other people let them see what is coming they have to know it could be a weaker second system that they deal with milton but they do have another one coming around their area very shortly after that we need to keep our eyes on so i wish the best for every single one of y'all may god keep every single one of you safe and your neighbors as well now before i go romans 8 18 through 23 for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. Amen. And just can't wait for that day when we all become one body in Christ together. Amen. What a glorious day. That will be everyone. Please hold tight. Make sure you have your supplies. Make sure you have everything in order. If you cannot leave, please seek a shelter. If you are staying, get a pet friendly shelter. Do not leave your pets. This is going to be a big problem. Remember, the storm surge is going to be way worse than y'all dealt with Helene. Because this is going to be a direct impact. And we have another one coming after that that we need to watch out for. So remember, take heed. Watch your neighbors. Keep your eyes up. And keep your heart open for God. He will guide you. Keep your heart on Him. Concentrate on God. Remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope He keeps you safe every single day of your life. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you for the update this afternoon.